here's me receiving a $225 payment while in class for an hour of my work. And I was able to make this money by doing a side hustle that literally anybody could start with just their phone. I know this is starting to sound like a scam video where they say the same dumb stuff that doesn't work, but I actually tried this out from scratch to see if it still works and it does. And you know it works well because on this channel, I've failed so many challenges. I hardly ever succeed at a side hustle, but I actually did well at this. So what is the side hustle? It's UGC, AKA user generated content. And I've worked with brands doing over a billion dollars a year, including Uno, yeah, the card game. And the side hustle checks all the boxes. It's free to start, you can make a lot of money, you could do it on your phone, and literally anybody could start this. Basically what you do is make videos for brands to post on social media or use as advertisements. And this is perfect for anybody because these brands are looking for specific people. You can get hired for your ethnicity, your hair color, your eye color, your height, or even your age like I did. Anything unique about you is your selling point for a brand trying to reach an audience like you. And if you can't find a single unique thing about you, then that's fine too because you relate to the average person. And the pay is great because your customers are companies who have a lot of money and large marketing budgets. And for multiple of my previous projects, I've been able to make over $100 an hour while working. But to be 100% honest, the title and thumbnail of this video is kind of clickbait. Because I have made $225 an hour with UGC before, but it's not something that I could sit down and do consistently every single day. But making $100 an hour is honestly on the lower end of what I've seen for people who've been doing this for years. But you don't have to do this for years to get your first client like a lot of other side hustles. I started this from scratch and was able to get my first client within a few days. And guess what that brand was? It was Uno. Yeah, somebody from Uno reached out to me with no social proof, no examples, no previous work. And if that doesn't prove that anyone can do the side hustle, I don't know what does. But don't worry, I'll go over all the details on how I was able to get my first customer so quickly. But before I get into how I got a client from scratch in just a couple of days, let me show you how I was able to secure a $1 billion company as a client of mine. It all started by creating a new TikTok account about a year and a half ago. And after posting videos for a couple of months and building up about 10,000 followers, I got a random email from an ad agency in Los Angeles asking for my content creator rate. They said they were partnered with a company and they wanted me to create short from content for them for their tools that help high schoolers who are going into college. Now, first off, I wanna say that I don't think the company wants me to say the name of who it was, but because I wanna let you guys know and I don't want you guys to think it's fake, I'm gonna tell you the name of the company. Cause I know if I was on the other end of this, I would just be curious. It was Big Future, which is a trademark of a brand called College Board that did $1.1 billion last year. And this is a great example of how anything unique about you could be used to your advantage because I'm a high schooler and they were willing to reach out to me and pay me good money just because I'm a high schooler. But the reason they even reached out to me in the first place is because I was creating content. And that brings me to the first out of two ways of how I actually have been able to get clients with UGC. One way that you could totally go about this is by creating content. And this is really not hard. I'll explain to you exactly how to do this, but the biggest thing is to make sure you just start. There's a ton of people that want to do stuff like this and make money, but they never start. So if you could start, then you're already ahead of like 90% <laughs> of people. And make sure you stay patient because it's probably not going to happen overnight unless you use the second method I'm going to tell you. That might work overnight. But it took me a bit for me to get my first client. Now, I will be honest, you do have to get kind of lucky with creating content. If you're just creating content about random stuff, but there is a way to upgrade your chances of getting reached out to. So I was creating content about finance on TikTok and I ended up getting reached out to, which was kind of lucky, but it took me a few months and I had like 15,000 followers. But you could get a client a lot quicker with content creation if you make content about UGC. A great example of this is at UGC with some on TikTok. I literally just searched up UGC and she was one of the first examples to pop up. And her first video was just at the beginning of this year. And a couple weeks ago, she made a video saying that she made $1,400 worth of deals in 24 hours. And that was in March. That's three months into the year she was able to do that. So if you go to her account, you can see that she has three pinned videos. And one of those videos is just an example of a UGC type video that she can make. Another one is day one of her journey. And the next one is basically just a pitch to brands. And then she has a website showcasing her work and a Google form to fill out if you're a company wanting her UGC work. And obviously just a few months in, she's been able to be pretty successful. And on top of bringing in a ton of leads, she's also been able to gain over 6,000 followers. And this actually might be able to make her more money than the UGC she's doing because she can now start a paid community teaching other people how to do UGC. So if you do decide to go the content creation route, it might take a little longer than the second method I'm about to explain to you, but you probably will make more money in the long term because you could build up a following and sell stuff to them because she makes a ton of videos for interested UGC creators and there's a ton of comments asking like how to start. So if you want to go this route, I would really recommend checking her account out. You can try and kind of copy what she's doing, obviously not exactly, but it has worked for her and you could actually level it up by doing things like the paid community I mentioned. Obviously just add your own twist to it and lean into whatever makes you unique because the only reason you're going to get reached out to is because something about you. Maybe it's your gender, maybe it's your height, maybe it's your ethnicity, maybe it's a disability you have, maybe it's the way you live life, I don't know, just lean into whatever it is. But if you just wanna try this for a proof of concept or you want money quicker, then I'm gonna show you how I got my first client in just two days. And what I used to do this is Fiverr. Now I have had some bad experiences with Fiverr in the past, but let me show you why this is actually a really good place to do this. So one night at like 12 a.m., I decided to 
to make a Fiverr gig about UGC, just showcasing myself. And in the past, it literally took me like months to get my first DM or even client. So I wasn't really expecting much. And it only took me about 30 minutes to set up. And surprisingly, two days later, I got a DM from somebody wanting me to make a video for them. And it wasn't even like it was some random company. It was actually Uno Mobile, like Uno, the card game. They have a mobile app and they wanted me to make a video for them. And so I created the video for them, got paid, but let me show you how I did it. So some tips I have, light content creation, you have to start as soon as possible. Do not put this off. It took me literally 30 minutes to set up. And again, like I mentioned in the last method, lean into what makes you unique. Cause there's gonna be a ton of different people offering UGC. So why would anybody choose you? And the reason a company would wanna choose you is because you are the type of person that that company is trying to reach out to. Maybe it's a company promoting a basketball product and they're looking for basketball players to create UGC content for it. And that's something that you could lean into. You'll create basketball UGC content. And the second big tip I have for you is to create a custom video as your thumbnail. So when you're scrolling on Fiverr, there's all those gigs and they have like thumbnails in front of them. And if you put a custom video showing your face, then that is huge because they're probably searching for a certain type of person and they're just gonna keep scrolling until they see somebody that looks like it. Like maybe they're looking for somebody with blonde hair or something like that. And it shows them what they can kind of expect from you. Let me just pop up a quick example of what mine looked like. Hey, I'm Landon, a creator with over 100 million views and I'm here to help you create UGC content for your brand so you can reach a younger audience. It was really basic, but it ended up working. I did add some mild editing, which is definitely not needed, but I would recommend cutting out parts where you're not talking and maybe spending like five minutes to make a script. And the next piece of advice I have for you if you're starting a UGC Fiverr gig is to have cheaper prices. Because you're just starting out, you have no reviews and no social proof, so they have no clue what to expect. So you definitely can't charge like $150 just for a single video when you have no reviews and no social proof. So look at your competition and look what their average prices are and go lower than them because that's the only other reason that a company would choose you. So for me, for a 15 second video, I did like $15. And then for a 30 second video, I think I did like 25 and then like 35 for a 60 second video. But I did end up getting a ton of DMs and I quoted them a lot more than my prices because I charged them more for anything I could. If they wanted me to film on an actual camera instead of a phone, I charged them more. If they wanted me to edit the video, I charged them more. If they wanted me to make my own script, I charged them more. But still make sure not to overcharge at the beginning. If you could get one single five star review, then you could up your prices a little bit. And as you start to get more reviews, then you could definitely start upping your prices more. But if you can't get any reviews or can't seem to even get any orders, then it's probably something that's wrong with your gig. First thing to do is make sure you're actually getting impressions. So if you go to your gig, you can see how many impressions it has. And since you're a new account, it probably won't get that many. But as long as you have some impressions, like if it's like three impressions after a week, then it's something to be worried about. And in that case, then your SEO is probably pretty bad. But if you're getting impressions and not orders or DMs, then there's a problem with something else. And I don't know exactly what, but it could be pricing. It could be because your cover video is pretty bad. It could be because your offer isn't good. So let me help you fix that. Go to your competition that's doing well and look at their gig. Check out their description, how they price stuff, their cover video and past work that they're showcasing and try to recreate what they're doing, but with your own twist on it. You can look at the most popular people in like the general UGC niche. Check out their description and write your own similar to theirs, but leaning into what makes you unique and make sure to use words in your description, tags and title that get searched for. And if you could come up with something very niche that people are searching for, then that's the gold mine. Because if somebody just searches up UGC, then there's thousands of results. But if somebody searches up something more niche, like gardening UGC creators, then there's gonna be a lot less results. And the more niche you could get with that, the less results there's gonna be. But it also means that there's probably gonna be less people searching for it. So trying to find the right balance of where there's a decent amount of people searching for and not that much competition. And if you could do this, then I'm very confident that you could get your first client. And if after a week or two, you're still not getting clients, then I would love to try and help you out. But I probably won't respond if you send me an email or message me on Instagram, just because I don't use Instagram and I get a decent amount of emails. I will be opening up a Discord server. I'll announce that in the next couple of videos. And in that, I would love to help you guys get UGC clients. And if you don't wanna watch through the next couple of my videos to see the announcement for it, then in the description, I left the link to a Google form and you can just fill that out and put your email in. So I'll email you when it comes out. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys got value out of this and make sure you subscribe for more unique side hustles like this. And speaking of unique side hustles, if you wanna see my Roblox channel side hustle, then you can watch this. And using that method, I make $28 an hour. But that'll be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.